In this video, we're going to look at the very basics of getting ready to use the McQueen robot using the Microsoft Microbit MakeCode website. So go to makecode.microbit.org and you should receive a screen very similar to this. Obviously, you won't have projects that have been preset unless you've used this site before. You're going to start by making a new project. What we have loading here is just the normal microbit programming environment provided by Microsoft. Uh, it has a make block style um, interface where you have all different options that you can choose, drag in and create things over here. What we're not going to do here is talk about how you can do normal programming on this site, but we are going to look at how to just get it ready for a McQueen uh, programming environment. So once we have our new project, the first thing we need to do is to import the extension that has the specific McQueen uh, blocks that we don't currently have. So we do that by going up to the gear up in the top right and choosing the extensions menu. From here there are lots of extensions that you can choose uh, for different purposes. Uh, one of these we'll come back to in a moment, but we don't have the actual McQueen one listed here because it hasn't been registered as an official extension yet. So we are going to paste in or type in this particular address, https colon forward slashes github.com dfrobot slash pxt hyphen McQueen. So it has to be typed in exactly as it is here. When it is, press enter and it should give you one option. You click on that option and it will load in that extension. And when it's done, you can see we now have a new sub menu here called McQueen. And inside that one, there are specific blocks that we can use to control parts of the McQueen robot. So these are things like the infrared sensor, the motors, the servo, and also reading and writing certain variables that it has. So this, along with all the other blocks, uh, what allows us to program the micro bit that actually controls the McQueen robot. There is one other extension you might like to include. Uh, if we go back to the cog and extensions, it would be the NeoPixel. Now the NeoPixels are built in underneath the robot. There's four of them, and they're those multicolored LEDs that you can control. So you might like to add that extension in as well. And you'll see once that's done, we also have a NeoPixel menu with a whole heap of commands that let us uh, program the different colors of those LEDs. So that's just how to get set up ready for using this as a programming environment for the McQueen. Um, in class or through other videos, you'll, you can learn how to actually program it, but we do need to have at least the McQueen and probably the NeoPixel extensions added before you can go any further. 